Well, first of all, people um, believe that architects are uh, craftsmen. It's a certain profession that they build. But um, it's very important to understand that there are certain uh, personages in the society. They have clients, they have to serve a client, and they're dealing with a lot of money most of the time, which is not theirs. And they have to serve an audience, uh, the people who use their buildings. So it's a very responsible task, but most of the time people only see the buildings and the surroundings they've created. And therefore it's very important that in stories you can see the story behind the facade and you get understand how our built environment is created and therefore you see the kind of a dialectic position the architect is in, which is always in interesting and intriguing for uh, filmmakers because there's always conflict in the profession of an architect and therefore it's important that uh, uh, we have a, a better understanding of, of architecture through film. The role of the architect in society has been presented uh, through the history of cinema uh, with different, uh, in different stages. So, of course, films are um, a mirror of society so, and architects are a big uh, a part uh, of, of the built environment and uh, reflect the society. So I think in film we can see this history of uh, architecture, a history in film together and the architect being a special character of it uh, helps us understand much more than the profession itself or, or architecture as a discipline but the society also. Uh, this prize particularly that Giorgio Sianca um, gave us the challenge uh, of um, being a jury of evaluating, I think what we are mostly going to evaluate is not only the, the role of the architect in the film but really how can you make a story uh, with images which is also what an architect does with their buildings and how can you please the audience and how can you say something to the audience with images that's what connects architects with filmmakers thank you thank you